Hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. My name is Maybe Dennis, and last time we finished all the rest of the quests in the city that I could find. And then we went over to continue the story. We found all the origin fragments, except for one. The last one was hidden here in Kevis Castle, where we did Noah's side story, which involved, you know, confronting Consul C, who was Chris, Noah's old mentor for the um, off-seeing off stuff. And after a cool fight, we have finished the ultimate vessel. We just have to turn it in. But because we did get a new area, I do want to check this part place out. Especially because there is a question mark here that I believe would be a Shara's hero quest. But let's explore the town first. There's a lot of people that I sure don't know. Uh, can I talk to why no? Uh, oh, never mind. We're, we're heading straight in. Uh, excuse me. Am I right in thinking that you're Ouroboros? Sorry, who are you again? Oh, I do beg your pardon. I'm the castle inspector, Ulrich. I've been looking everywhere for you. Wait a sec, have I seen you somewhere before? Maybe Riku's still half asleep, but Riku's certain you he's seen you expecting in Colony 9. Is that so? Do you not remember the faces of your own army's officers? I suppose not. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about it. I remember that name. Uh, so you said you've been looking for us? Yes, actually, I had a favor to ask of you. Oh, yeah? Oh, we're at the table. Inspect the colonies that aren't bound by the flame clocks. Yeah, I just want to check in on how the colonies without the flame clocks are coping. Just to see if the soldiers are adapting to life without a flame clock in console. That's great, but what do you need us for? Surely officer rank comes with an elite bodyguard or two. Ah, no. I was hoping you could uh, fill a rather different role. Now that so many colonies have been liberated, our old methods of observation aren't quite as effective. You see how we can't just stroll in on an, into an Agnian colony and casually observe, yes? But if the Ouroboros show up, then you'll be welcomed, uh, warmly welcomed, I'm sure. I guess. So, what do you say? Would you help the castle? And not only that, but support the people living in the colonies? Oh, you really guilt tripped us there. <sighs> okay. I believe you about supporting the people. Everyone else okay with it? So then I was like, yeah! Then we'll do it. I'm so grateful. Which colonies are we to survey? I assume random choice won't be very effective. Right, I was thinking we could start off with Colony 9. Oh? It's somewhere over has been to inspect before, and it might be the colony that felt the effects of its liberation the hardest. What do you think, Ulrich? No objections here. We'll go and talk to Kite once we've got everything ready. Oh, okay, this is not a hero quest. The new inspector. The Tap Dancing No Pond. What is it? Okay, I guess that's the name of this place. Um, okay. Even if there is an end to the war, we, the, we the guard, will still be bound to the defense of Her Majesty. That won't change. I think we'll just keep on training, just like we've always done. Good to add more names. But it's just, it's a, it's, just, it's a robot. <laughs> oh, we've got an eye here. I thought the castle would always stand strong, no matter how many assaults from Agnes it took. But it ultimately took. But all it ultimately took was a small spot of soldiers. Those Ouroboros are an another level compared to us, Grunt. Achievement. I see, I see. Yes, we've done much. Person in front of Propathian Cathedral. Been drawing curious drawing recently. Curious picture. You know what? I'm going to put Ashera in my party because I feel like if we were to find her thing, it would be... She would have to be in my party. I thought there were going to be a lot of people, but there's a there's actually less than I expected due to the fact that I don't know there, there are a lot of people on the map, but not too many people that you can interact with. Panima, tap dancing no pond is favorite haunt of big shots and mighty cheeses of castle. Card captain Sigrund, inspect person Luciona, both come often. Panima recommend to try extra special dish of cured meat vizards. Friends sure to love much. Alright, we can try out the dish there. Let's do that. You got cured meat vizards. 
I have no idea how to pronounce the last one. Okay, like two big. Oh, okay, I thought those were two giant eggs, not bread. Oh, okay. Oh, exp boost. Wow, ritzy, glitzy, saucy wizards. Lutz. Ugh. What's up? We've been undergoing all this training to become officers of the guard or inspectors, but now that the castle's flame clock has been broken. I don't know what we're going to do with our lives anymore. Oh, uh, I guess we might have snuffed that up for you, huh? Oh, you can go up there where there's a chest. We elite officers such as myself here at the castle. Oh, we train elite officers. It takes much more than muscle and legion of soldiers to whoa to win a war, you know. Damn, the music changed. I didn't expect this. <laughs> you need officers with first-rate brains too to really get soldiers moving properly. What's you? What do you got for us? All the recruits here are pretty much destined for the top press. They're still around their third term, but they've got enough knowledge of an eighth or ninth termer. It's impressive. On the flip side, that's probably why they've always looked down on other colony soldiers. I have to wonder if they'd fare in actual combat. It's a tad worrying. I think they could stand to be taken down a peg or two. Leaders in training. Yeah, I was like thinking like, man, they sound really confident and a little bit cocky, even though a lot of them look like, like kids. <laughs> Guards training yard. Oh. Oh, Sigrun. We heard about her before. The castle's flame clock smashed while we were out of the for the count. Was it the consul's plan so that we wouldn't get hurt? I'm not sure what to say. Good to add more we're really quite fortunate. The flame clock is gone. But we have plenty of time to consider what kind of new system we'll put in place instead. If we were if you we were in our tenth term already, we would have just greeted Oblivion before we could do anything to put it in order. Oh, woe is me. Ah, what do you want? Leave me be. Can a man wallow in his misery in peace? I got no memory of what happened here recently. It's just like, I, it's like I just slept through it. You probably have the console to thank for that. So he has the power to put people to sleep? Consoles. We never got that answered to be honest. I don't really know what, uh, what Chris's power was. Maybe that one area that I checked before is open now since we've uh, liberated the colony. No, it is still closed. Oh, how much would you pay for that colorful picture thingamajig? <laughs> Not a single G. Curious picture. All right, I got to this container. Coolio. I think I've talked to everyone here since the colony wasn't too big. So let's check out the uh, the conversations that we will probably have. Probably several quests, especially one about the painting, I think. Yep, we have two quests. Consoles. Required hero Triton, huh? If it's a required hero, maybe this will lead into a quest. I have no idea. So I've been thinking the soldiers at Fort Overbus and Kevis Castle, they got to see the consoles all the time, right? Out of all those people, did you not think a single one of them get, will get suspicious about what's under those masks? They simply trusted them, or perhaps the concept of distrust didn't even take root inside them. From the moment of birth, it's how they were conditioned. Same as us, really. Arr! So even your, so even your four-eyed man here was young ones, eh? <laughs> funny. Real funny. No, hang on. I mean, I meant the opposite of that. ha <laughs> ha! I'm kind of used to seeing Trident's naked face now. Ha <laughs> Classy and understated, no? What do those words mean? Oops, my bad. Ye lasses and lads are too young to understand, I reckon. You'll get used to it in 50 years, want to or not. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever understand Mobius, even if I live to 100. Okay, never mind. That was not very substantial, but... Oh, uh, kind of funny. You will come round for a second. First it was Agnes, and now we've managed to destroy Kevis Castle's flame clock too. Slow and steady progress in it. Sounds weird coming from me, I know. There's all different sides to the power of Ouroboros. That's true enough, and yet there ought to have been many in the past who became Ouroboros and fought Mobius. You mean we did it because we were us? Yes, I sincerely think so. At first, I felt uncertain about it, but now I can state it with confidence. 
It's thanks, to, it's thanks to all of us that we made this far. I'm truly grateful to have had the experience of standing so shoulder to shoulder with you all. Hmm. 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 Is anyone going to say something? Nothing really comes to mind. I didn't expect that kind of speech from him, of all people. I feel a bit embarrassed now. Is my face burning? Oh, oh my hair! My hair! Oh, it's so awkward. Tyon, I'd like to return your sentiment. You saved my skin many times over. I don't think I can ever thank you enough. Now there's a good follow-up. <laughs> I I see. When you put it so bluntly, it makes me it makes one feel a little put on the spot. But Tyon, you're the one who started it, you muppet. <laughs> Leaders in training. Hey, what's up with those soldiers training at Fort Verbis? They seem kind of weird. No, my controller. Define weird. It's like they're always talking down to everyone like there's something special. Yeah, they're a cheeky lot. You're one to talk. Shut it, you. <laughs> Honestly, though, I can't be doing with people like that. It's probably got something to do with all the lectures that the cadets on the executive ladder have to sit through. That seems kind of unreliable. Yeah, first sign of a real battle and they'd be stuffed. Absolutely up the creek. But what can we do about that? We could challenge them. Eh? Eh? Explain. Think about it. If we can wreck them in a fight, we can crush the attitude problem right out of them. I'm with Lance. We gotta teach them to how to be better. It's for their own good. This is a ludicrous idea. Then it's settled. We're going to the portal purpose and we're going to hunt down those rude mutters. <laughs> Lads, what did I just say? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Curious we picture. This. I hear some strange individual has been creating some sort of colorful picture at Fort Overbis. Oh yeah? They call them paintings, right? I heard about that from Monica. Apparently Shania is really good at them, but she eh, decided to screw over the city instead. It's that culture thing they've always been banging on about. You don't really get to get people making paintings like that in Kevis. Yeah, I only thought city folk did that kind of thing. What would you say to a field trip? I can't deny my interest is piqued. Hold the iris. No nonsense Tyon wants a nosy just for the spark of it. For the record, Uni, I don't live entirely by the book. No objections here. Let's see what we can see at Fort Overbis. An artist. So we got two new quests. Those are new inspector. Oh no, we have three. New inspector, leaders in training, and an artist. We'll start with an artist. Because the new inspector might be kind of long. Yeah, okay, we're talking with this person. Stefan. <sighs> Excuse me, but are you the person that's been making a painting around here? <sighs> uh, are you okay? Will you listen to my tale of woe? I was once a soldier who attended Consul K so that I might capture his likeness within a portrait. Our portraits differed than normal paintings. Portraits are the type of painting. I painted Kay as I was ordered. It was my sacred duty. And then one day, I heard Kay had fallen to some ruffians called Ouroboros. My life's purpose vanished like smoke. Kay? Is Kay the one we fought at Colony 4 when we first saw Colony 4? I think so. Life's purpose? Spare me. However, my passion undimmed when I returned to the castle where there could yet be a console. Yet every day my talent is mocked. How can an image fell on an enemy soldier? They jeered vulgarly. Not a single soul remains in all of Ionius who appreciates my art. I've not heard of any. <laughs> but enough of my sorrowful tale. Who are you? Where? Wait, wait, no, you're, you're the Ouroboros. Don't worry, we mean you no harm. We we're only wondering if you wouldn't mind showing us your painting. This portrait, I mean. N no, I don't mind. Oh, are we gonna get a group photo? Oh, that'd be so cool. I see. 
The figure of a person rendered in colored dyes using a soft brush on the material called canvas. That's a portrait, is it? That's right. And a portrait painting forms part of a culture. It's a concept K educated me in. But hoi polloi, soldiers ascribe no value to it. And so I have returned to the castle in slender hope of succor. Ah, but if no one's buying, you're in a tight spot, eh? Exactly. Yes. Well, I don't think culture is going to do much good when you're risking your neck out in the front lines. Hmm, culture. Wait, Uni, you said Monica had been talking to you about culture before. Hmm? Oh yeah, and? Can such a thing be true? Uh, can such a thing be true? I bet Wellwell would know all about that stuff. He's a Nelpon from the city, so it figures. The, s the city? I've never heard of such a colony, but something about the name certainly smacks of culture. Very well then. Would you be so kind as to show me the my little jobs in the city of yours? I don't remember signing up for- Surely such discerning folks shall be able to value my art at its true worth. And if not, if not, then I shall simply- Okay, okay, save the water wax. Let's do it. Poor thing looks like, like he's at the end of his tether. Ah, fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I shall entrust you with my precious portrait. Kay's portrait. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Uh, he's gonna, we're just gonna show this people and they're like, ah, oh, Mobius! Oh! <laughs> okay, we'll get this value at Wellwell shop. This is the piece I have most faith in amongst my work. I hope, uh, all my hopes go with you. Okay, let's take this to Wellwell. I believe that was the, uh, like, shopkeeper who sold a lot of books. And we'll see how much this painting is truly worth. Welcome to Shop of Wellwell. Hi, Wellwell. We actually brought something we'd like you to take a look at, if you got a moment. You not customer today? Well, take a look. Ah, it's portrait. Sometimes we arrange handling of such a thing in, op in shop. This is made by a Kavesi. You'd like to have its value appraised. Oh my god, I got something in my throat. <coughs> we hadn't got a clue ourselves. Well, it's certainly a long time since well well see art of people outside the city. Well, well, oh, overcome with sudden inquisity, inquisitivity. Leave painting with Wellwell for further investigate. Cheers for being so quick about it. Oh ho 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 ho! Uh, what is it? Hey, don't laugh. The guy was trying his best. <laughs> this portrait, it total piece of, but <laughs> that bad? No. Total piece of masterpiece is perfection. Subject is meh, but boldness of brushstroke, innovation of palette. If well will ascribe value of fiscal nature to work, then 200,000 G is piddling bargain. That much? 200 grand for these little squiggles? Now that's very rude. Artist of this portrait is a talent of rare genius. I knew it had to be something special, but this far defies my expectations. What are you so happy about? <sighs> Let's give Stefan the good news then. You're not selling peace? Well, we haven't asked the artist if he wants to sell. Well, well, understand. Let well, well provide official stamped report of valuation. That guarantee good for everywhere in Ionius. Thank you. Wow, that guy's a good painter. <laughs> Touche. Stefan, you're gonna be rich. Just keep doing your good work. Ah, you're back. I was in agony of waiting. Tell me, have you any news to report? Well... What? 200,000 G? Yeah, we couldn't believe it either. All that dodge for one little picture. How can I possibly thank you? What price? Faith in oneself. How can one value the knowledge that other people appreciate one's art? So what do you want to do with the portrait? You can sell it, or keep it. I know exactly what I shall do. Move to the city! 
I shall gift it to you. Are you sure about that, mate? Tis but a small token of my gratitude for resolving the problem that had been gnawing at my heart. Uh, what problem? The problem of passion. The passion inspired by a work of art is the most important aspect of culture. I used to have K to opine my, upon my work and feed my passion for the arts. After his untimely passing, there was none left to comfort the true meaning of my work. I was half resigned to obscurity. However, you handed me this judgment of abundant value. The passion I had lost returns tenfold, overflowing my heart. I'm getting about one word in ten. <laughs> And I, I love Uni so much. You model your portraits on real people, don't you? Who will you paint next? Hmm. This will be my first comeback work, so I should take someone's brimmy, brim, bleh, someone brimming with personality to be my model. Wait, are you gonna paint us? Hmm. No, you're too fierce a spirit. Too bestial to be the subject of my portrait. <laughs> what I want is to paint someone who appears weak at first glance. Has a, co a core of strength within. Looks, we all look at Sen. It's like she's the strongest out of all of us. Yeah, rules out us six then. Why don't we get one of the commanders involved, or one of the others who agreed to help us? That'd be wonderful. I'm in your debt. We'll see if we can bring anyone who looks promising and bring them back here. I shall wait your return. Oh, this is long. Bring a model who will fit Stefan's painting, then talk to him. Um, I have no idea. Is it gonna be a Shara? Oh, what's that they call you? The suicidal maniac? Interesting. Uh, yep, that's me. So how about it? Do I fit the bill? No, not at all. I lack the in <laughs> intestinal fortitude to paint your portrait. My heart would simply give out. Oh, so it's gonna be one of our party members. That's really cool. Someone with a lot of- um, you know what? I kind of just want to try out some of these random people. Oh, a pair of Nopon. I'm afraid I have trouble distinguishing Nopon. Inconceivable. How are you not able to tell apart Riku from this Tichipon? Who are you calling Tichipon? Oh yeah, I like this. So the quest is to get someone who is like, looks weak but is full of strength. Or something like that. And from that description, the one I feel like applies would be, um, maybe Gondor? And like, if we're talking about inner strength, I feel like Fiona's grown so much as a character. But, you know, let's try some people out. I've been waiting to behold such an elegant, elegant in strength. I shall paint you for my next work, oh, for the work after my next work. Yes, the one after the next, N not this one though. <laughs> ha, uh, all right. And I look forward to be painted for your portrait after your next portrait. I like that. People would know Ethel here. Whoa, that right hand of yours isn't off the top, off the shelf model, is it? Is that original? Heh, there's the hand my master pawn gave me. To my untrained eye, it is a work of prime craftsmanship. Alas, I'm not familiar with painting lovenesses, so I must refrain. Oh, well, if you say so. Thanks for the kind words. I'm sorry I can't be of more use. Such awe, such commanding presence, the epitome of a commander. Sadly, this does not match my vision. You think I have a commanding presence? You're an odd one. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, but I hope your efforts bear fruit. Oh, I can feel a terrible presence lurking in his smile. Haha, <laughs> I can assure that my smile contains no such thing. If I can be useful to you, I would gladly work with you. Um, I'm far too shy to be equal to this task. I'll decline this time. <laughs> Strange. There are those who call my behavior suspicious, but this person is extremely suspicious, with bells on. But there's more to it. I sense complexity beyond the experiences that can be amassed in that can be amassed in a mere ten years. Good eye. I say no more than that. I consider this mysterious quality to be a value, but alas, it doesn't match my vision. Ah, you brought me in an illustrious tactician. By dignity of his expression, but he differs from my desired image. I wouldn't dare call myself a tactician in the presence of Tyon here. But I was quite flattered at the idea of having my portrait painted. Ah, well, shame. Yes, yes, yes! You fit my vision exactly! Have we managed it? However, 
The ears are just a little bit... Uh, they don't harmonize with the motif of the whole. Sorry for being rude, but I don't suppose the ears come off? No. Understood. Wow! Okay. Would that be considered racist? Gah! I quiver under that bewildering gaze. And yet, in my next work, I emphasize... I wish to emphasize kindness. You don't find me to be kind? You wound me, sir. Don't get him wrong. It just means you don't match his vision. I know, I was just joking. See, you could look at Tyon Ty Ty for kindness. The answer was staring in you in the face. You aren't Kavesi, if I'm not mistaken. Yet your Mien suggests you've seen many battles. I'd rather have someone a little bit more delicate in the mind at last. Ah, shame that. I'm interested in what kind of art springs up outside the city, though. I feel like Fiona is a contender. So I'm gonna save her for like one of the last ones. How about Mobius T instead? Ha ha ha! You want this fine specimen of a man to model? I warn ye, I don't come cheap, laddie. Hmm, something of you something about you is reminiscent of K. Only a short while ago, I'd only have been elated to immortalize you on canvas. But I have something different uh, I have something of a different vision now. Well, that's a shame. Here I thought I'd give K a right run for his money. Let's try Gondor. What an unusual outfit. One can infer from this fashion a strong sense of haughtiness. But it's a little too coarse for my purpose. Not fitting of my vision at all. You may leave. Oh, I'll leave after I get one good punch on you, pal. Gondor, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like that one. Oh, so close to my ideal po su portrait subject. But I'd, I'd like just a smidge more strength to inspire the soldiers. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, to inspire the soldiers. That's definitely gonna be, uh, Fiona. Such daring! He's the exact opposite of your humble, timid artist. I fear I'm not the right man to do justice. Do you justice upon the canvas? I can't say I follow, but I will strive to be the man you perceive me as. How unexpected. I don't think I've ever seen a Levinus like this before. Is it a special model? Hypothesis confirmed. What's this? A voice within the machine? Hollow, yet charming. Aha! The difference between form and content. Never even considered this! How inspiring! But how would you depict it in a portrait? <laughs> He's like, oh, that's what I'm looking for, but not. Uh, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, let's try the DLC ones because you know that's for certain not right. Would you be able to bring a new potential portrait subject? I must meet the subject in person, so please bring your friends here. Oh, you know what? Uh, I see. The DLC ones don't count because they had this uh, quest in before they added the DLC. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured it out. Yeah, it's Fiona. I found you, my love. Oh, yes. The ephemeral, ephemeral appearance belied by the strength contained within a core of steel gleaming in the eyes. Ah, yes, you're the perfect model to bring my vision for this new portrait to life. And she's like, ah! uh, who? Me? Please, this way. I must begin my great work. Yeah, she was uh, she was the first person that came to mind when she said, like, looks weak on the outside but is strong within. I thought it was going to be more of a mental strength. If it was more of a physical one, it'd probably be Gondor or Senna. But he rejected Senna off the bat. And, as I said before, Fiona's grown so much throughout the game, so I thought it was probably gonna be her. Hmm, your expression's a little stiff. Uh oh it is? It's just that I've never done something like this before. I feel so exposed. You can do it, Fiona. I'm doing my best. Can't you paint Landland too? <laughs> ah, yes. Now that's the expression I'm after. Can you all talk to her about happy things to calm her nerves? Makes sense. How are you holding up, Fiona? Is there anything you want? Snacks? Um, I, um, don't think I can hold this pose forever. Well, somehow, you should have- you, you shall have to manage. Just a little more painting to be done. How much is a little more? Hmm, I'd say about 23 hours! 23?! But that's so long! I can't stay awake that long! That's your concern? If you fall asleep halfway through, we'll just wake you right back up again! 
You've always got my back, Sunny. No, not, not, not now, though. <laughs> yes, perfect. Keep that thought. I'm gonna need you to keep talking for the next 23 hours. Come on, your painting's lovely. Wrap it up already. 23 hours later. But yes, complete. An artist, seeing his painting praised by the city. Stefan regains his confidence. If you're ever in need of some G, try selling one of his paintings in the city. Portrait of Consul K. Oh, right, we straight up have that now. Cool. All right, let's do the leaders in training. I'm confused about this one because I don't know how to get into this room. <laughs> but alas, uh, it is taking me there, so I'll just follow the thing. Oh, okay. Here it is. We should have done it. We should have done it like this all along. No, no, I don't think so. See, it'll just slow down the slow the advance way down. And that's exactly why I suggested deploying a leftness from the start. Hey, who are you? Well, we're. Oh well, we Wait, the captain of the guard mentioned these guys, didn't she? All oh, right, they're the ones who defeated the consul at the castle and broke the flame clock. They're the Ouroboros? So you've heard of us. That makes things easy. Rumor has it that you're, you lot are pretty clever. Haha, <laughs> that we are. We're the best of the best. No one in all Kevis can hold a candle to us. We can overtake soldiers like you from low-ranking colony in less than a year. Low-ranking? Ooh, do they have a mouth on them? What a joke. S sorry? So you were taught you're to take us on in a fight. You'd rinse us, would you? Correct. If that's what you want, we'll give you a fight. Anytime, any place. Oh, it's on! How'd you like the sound of a monster bashing battle? Go on. We'll show you we're more than just knowledge. We'll show you the meaning of excellence. We've only got three people, though. So how about this? Five monsters for us, and ten, ten for you. Sounds fair. You can compare results once we're back. Uh, once back here, once we're done. You're on. And let the game begin. I see some relations have we changed. have to. Oh wow, we have to kill designated ropals or ropals. I don't know how to pronounce. Panina, giddy giddy, come over the other day to play a little performance on instrument. Now console not here to forbid. Could enjoy snacks and music at the same time. Symphony in mouth and ears. That sounds lovely. I wish I could have been there to hear it. Yes, highly recommend not to miss out next time. Oh god, okay, we're gonna have to kill a lot of ropals here. Alright, we finished this quest. Leaders in training. Let's report back and show them how destroyed they got. Teach those kids a lesson. Okay. Oh, I guess they're not here because uh, they're struggling with their assignment. Oh, look who's not back yet. Haha, <laughs> we won. Suck on that. Oh, okay, they're back. Now, where are those spare ether cylinders? And what time do you call this? No, how can you be back already? Because we're finished. Ugh, we would have won if we hadn't run out of supplies. I refuse to accept this. I demand a rematch. Leave it. We have to accept that we messed up. We didn't prepare properly. Huh? Didn't expect you to be so gracious about it. It's not surprising, is it? Castle soldiers are trained not to make the same mistake twice. Exactly. And we want to be like the captain of the guard. We can't let a failure like this get us down. There's a degree of shame, yes. But it was a good lesson. So thanks for that. When, you're go when are you going to be back? We gotta settle the score now. We got a score to settle now, I think. You know what? Maybe you lot are alright. Ha ha ha. We'll have to stay on top of our game, won't we, lads? They land by trial and error. We could do worse than emulate them. Your ridiculous idea turned out to be pretty useful to your little protégés in the end. Protégés? The heck does that mean? I never thought of anyone as my protégé before. Not even in Colony 9. I don't think much- I don't think I'm much cut out to be a mentor. But eh, why not? It's something to do. <laughs> Lance says as he was really, really excited to be a teacher and teach his teacher. Hey, you lot. What now? Let's do this again sometime. Ha! 
Yeah, we'll look forward to it. But next time, you're the ones going down. You can't escape from us. This is gonna be fun. Quest complete. Leaders in training, Farad and the others learn that oh, that it takes hard work and trial and error to make it. Spar with them again sometimes. That was a really good lesson for some kids, to be honest. Now we have the new inspector, which honestly might be a very long quest if we're gonna have to go through every colony. Kite, we need your help. Kite! We got we need some potatoes! Hey Kite. Yeah, what's up? If you hear about the fields. Uh, fields? Are, are you saying the colony grows its food supply rather than process them in a plant? Who's this? Oh! The castle's inspector is back again? Oh, it looks like Kite remembered him. Shut up! <laughs> well, uh, what do you want? Sorry for dropping in unannounced. The thing is... And that's about the long and short of it. So, could you tell us about how Colony 9 has been doing? With the fields and all? Yeah, why not? Oh, you don't need to go that far. If I could just take a look at the fields, that would be fine. To find the fields, go out down the slope towards the back entrance, then straight across the bridge, and then they're on your left. Thank you. Well, I'll be off then. Hey, don't just... Ugh! Sorry, we'll talk again soon. Y yeah oh, okay I guess we gotta go to the potatoes what's that you're shoveling down there Eastman um, this here's a sponge sp special spongy tada potatoes today to surprise we got a speed eating competition coming up against colony Four pretty soon I can polish this off in two ticks that means I'm gonna win. Oh, you poor mother. Mind those spongy spuds don't stick to in, in your throat. Wow, we still have new dialogue. I was actually gonna revisit them after a little bit just because we did the colony, uh. We did the, uh. Noah's side story, so there might be more, but I didn't think there would be that much. Hey, I just pulled a bunch of spuds. You should go eat them some before you go. They give you mad strength. Get out there with a gut full of our loving, lovely, lovingly grown Colony 9 taters, and there'll be no way you're losing against Mobius. We've been able to learn so much from the spongy spuds. Still, I dare say that there are other crops that could be leveraged for a similar result. We'll be able to deepen our understanding if we collaborate with Colony Tao, too. Jinaba and Kite would love that, I'm sure. Indeed, I think our alliance will bear plenty of fruit. I'm looking forward to it. I see some relations have changed. Okay, Ulrich. What do you think about the spongy spuds? I know what uh I know what Zeon thinks about the spongy spuds. This is wonderful. You can't just go running off on your own, mate. Uh, sorry about that. I was just so thrilled at the prospect of seeing it. And they did it all without the castle support. Impressive. Really stellar work. Did you push for this initiative? Actually, no. We helped a bit. What was all the colonies doing? I see. Well, how marvelous. One of the Agne Agnes commanders helped out with it a lot. W what? Agnes and Kevis working together? Ugh. Would you mind if we paid uh, an Agnian colony next? Uh, paid a visit to an Agnian colony? Uh, are you sure? I am. I believe there was one somewhere in the vicinity, no? The nearest is... Hmm, Colony Gamma. Then can we go there next? We're in such close proximity, yet it's so lightly guarded. In normal times, it wouldn't be uncommon to see some sort of military action here. When normal times are but those normal times are no longer normal. I want to see how the world is now. In that case, we Agnians will show you around. For some of us, it used to be home. Then let's head off. I wonder how many colonies we'll visit with this. I hope it's not too many because I don't want to literally retrot the globe. But I think three sounds like a good number. At most four. Any more than four and then I just kind of get tired of this quest. It is a question mark quest which are usually longer. So this is Colony Gamma, is it? Never thought I'd, I never thought the day would come I'd set in a foot in an Agony and Colony.
There are an awful lot of new soldiers here. Yes, they're kept from the front lines to serve as a reserve force. Does that interest you? Of course it does. Plenty of soldiers are terrified in the face of an uncertain future uh, the breaking of the flame clock has given rise to. They're incentivized to train harder, to actively positively work to survive in this new harsh world. This is a part of the change you have brought about. They'd probably be proud to hear you assessing them in such a way. I think I've seen enough. Can I ask you to take me to the next place? Yeah, yeah, where to this time? The city. Yeah, okay, the city it is. What? The city? Yes, the city. A place on Ionius which is unaffiliated with either Kevis or Agnes. My heart leapt when I heard such a place existed. It may prove challenging to bring an outsider with no connections into the city, though. Hmm, yes. Is there somewhere else where city folk live? Oh, there is! Agnes Castle! Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. You're on the ball today, Senna. Yeah, it'll be easier to get him in there than the city, at least. If Aggie and Augie are around, they'll, they'll hear us out, at least. Would that be okay, Ulrich? It's not quite yet hopeful, but... Of course, it's fine. My interest lies in the people, not the places. And let's get to Agnes Castle. From Kevis Castle to Agnes Castle. Let's go! Rule of three. I think this is a great place for a third location. Aggie and Augie! How are you doing, Augie? Well, if it isn't Noah, we're doing just dandy. Hey, Augie, look who it is. Oh-ho! You're looking all- you're all looking well. Uh, so are you, Aggie. Ah, uh, these are the city people who reside in this castle, yes? Hmm? Who's this? Friend of yours? Yes, uh, yeah. So, what's happening is... <laughs> Interesting. So you want to learn about the city, eh? I do. As people with first-hand experience and knowledge, would you mind telling me a bit about life there? I see no reason why not. If Noah here vouches for you, who are we to decline? Okay, shoot. Ask us anything. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please, this will just take a moment. Knock yourselves out. We'll find something to do. Thank you so much. I'll see you later then. Yep, this is the ending music. Are they done yet? Oh, yep, they're done. Oh, looks like it. Well, did you learn anything good from them? Yes, they had a lot of interesting things to say. However, go on. Well, it was just so interesting that I don't think I'll ever have enough time to explore it all. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. What? Like, live here? Are you serious? Yes. Aggie and Augie, as well as the Seeker, the representative for Agnes, have welcomed me with- have welcomed me quite warmly. Why something so drastic? I thought I'd use my position as inspector to benefit the castle and Kevis itself. I had a thought it was- I had thought it was necessary to completely annihilate the opposing force. Hmm. But- that sounds foolish in present, in the present, in which we now find ourselves. Why do we only concern ourselves with prosperity that was built on the back of so much sacrifice? Why indeed? I feel like you've opened my eyes. Kevis, Agnes, the city. I've seen them working together, and now I know the shape of the future we must create. Living with these people, and truly getting to know them, that would be the first step towards this goal. I see. And I guess I'll work here is done. <laughs> you can see the micro, mini and micro turkey just in the bottom. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for accompanying me on this journey. I hope this path leads to far greater understanding for the future of Kevis. No, all of Ionius. <laughs> cool, that, that was a good quest. I'm glad it was. I'm glad it only hit three spots, but it, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do one last look around at Kevis Castle, and then see if uh, I can maybe try to find a Shara's Ascension quest. 
because it was not that question mark, which I thought it was going to be. We still have that one, like, area at the side of the desert that I, that, like, had a door that I could not open. I saw that it was supposed to be for an ascension quest, and the only two that we have left are Ashera and Sagiri. I wonder which one it will be for. Honestly, I imagine it'd be... Oh, wait. Hey, they're, or they're the Ouroboros. Hey, they're the Ouroboros. The captain of the guard was searching for them earlier, wasn't she? Captain of the guard? Captain of the guard. Okay, that's going to be a quest. But I imagine it'd be a Shara's because I don't know why Sagiri would go all the way there. Shara's already in, like, this part of the world. <laughs> At least it's half. Okay, it seems like there's going to be more. I thought we might be able to come up with a plan if we studied Ouroboros and Mobius' past battles. Did you give us an access to your records? We really want to help you guys. Uh, I don't think we've been keeping anything like that, mate. You haven't? Why the spark would you not? Look, we didn't exactly have time to jot down notes in the heat of the battle. You're the ones who gave Martina lot a run for the money, right? They've always shown promise, that lot, but after what you did, I think the hearts are in, in it now more than ever. They'll make fine soldiers for the guard. Not as fine as me, of course. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we have Portrait of Consul, and then Captain of Guard, which is a quest. Well, that was a bit of a shocker, eh? The portrait Stefan painted being worth 200,000 G. 200,000 G is equivalent to how many tasty sausages, please? Enough that you'd get, even you'd get sick of them. Oh ho ho! That's astounding, astonishing amount. Well, to the point, why would anyone drop that much cur currency on it? What use even is the portrait of K? Well, I suppose the city folk re really hate the Mobius, so... Talk at practice, maybe? Whoa! Doug, <laughs> wow, that's, that was really short. Captain of the Guards. We need to discuss this. The Captain of the Guard from Kevis Castle have been looking for us, it seems. We're the tart of the Fort Ver oh, Verbis, huh? Do you think they're not happy with us because we broke the flame clock? I wouldn't say so. That wasn't the impression I got from observing the fort. Without a console in place, I don't think it would be a trap. There's only one way to find out. Let's chat with the captain of the guard. The castle guard. Sigurun, what do you got for us? Hmm, yes. This would be a good way to keep up the castle's rate of ether conversion. Proceed. Roger to that. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. I didn't think you'd come. We heard that you were looking for us. Right you are. It shouldn't take long to explain, and it'll really help us out. You might already know that the guard is soon going to start a large-scale training ex exercise. Yes, we heard something to that effect. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I'd like to ask you with help. Uh, ask you to help with the training. Us? Really? The queen in the castle was a fake. We never doubted her. You blindly accepted that imitation and betrayed the real queen's hope. But you, you're stronger than that. You can show us the proper way to train. The guards... The guards those fancy troops who control the castle grounds, yeah? The problem is, we can't go easy on elites like them, training or not. We can't, and we won't. Huh? Wait, we're actually doing this. Things must be tough at the castle, what with everything going on right now. Fair point. Not really much room to complain then, I guess. You'll help then. Brilliant. Hopefully this will get them working better together. What's going on? You got like, descent, descent in, in the ranks? Sadly, yes. The guard is split with, into two units. Stolner Squad and Kultor Squad. Let's just say the two of them aren't the best of friends right now. We're hoping that this training will remind them of the importance of teamwork. Right, understood. We'll see what we can do then. All soldiers should already be waiting at the east entrance of the Garden Defense Base. Thanks for your help. I see some relations have changed. Oh man, there's so many side quests that this actually might take up the entire episode. <laughs> I wanted to tackle Ashera's Ascension quest, but it's going kind of long. <laughs> Heath, time to beat you up. 
Hello there, Ouroboros. The captain of the guard filled me in on the situation. Oh, Heathel's the one we were talking to at the canteen. It's like, ah, not as good as me, though, because I'm awesome. Ah, I don't believe we've met. I'm, I, I'm Winona, captain of the Kato, Katoro squad. And this is Keith, captain of the Sultana, Sultanar squad. Pleasure to meet with you. As far as I'm concerned, there's no higher honor than getting to train with the illustrious Ouroboros. I'm not convinced we'll win, but the by, but by the Queen, we'll give it everything we've got. <sighs> Losing before we've even started with idiocy. I say you're the idiot here. Underestimating an opponent like this only invites disaster. False bravado is a poor strategy indeed. You shut your mouth. This is what the captain was talking about, I say. Shall we kick off the training? Sorry, this is very unprofessional. Let me explain the exercise. We'll split into two teams, one on the offense and one on defense. The attackers will win if they manage to take control of the area. The defenders, on the other hand, will need to incapacitate all members of the opposing squad. Of course, as the guards, we'll be taking up the defensive position that leads you to attack. Sounds good. I know very well that you are stronger than the norm. But I'm not going to give up my position as the first guard unit so easily. There's hardly a Vols Visker between the first and second units. Okay, so you're both really great? Is everybody ready? Let's get this done! Uh, I don't- Oh my god, 29. Oh god. Well... Alright, currently we're engaged with 7 units. But if I can manage to get the final Lucky 7 off, we can probably take care of a lot of them. Oh my god, look at all the numbers! Oh! You know what, this has the potential to be a very bad idea, but I'm gonna try to aggro a whole bunch of people. <laughs> oh my god, my, my system's lagging so much. How many units will I take out with this? Oh my god! We went from 10 to 21, 22. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let nobody tell you different. Man, we took out took out like t over 10 people with that uh, final lucky seven. Oh, that felt so satisfying. Oh, we're level 69 now. Nice. Okay, we beat 28 out of 29, so we have one more. God, having AoEs feels so good. Oh, it's just this one loveness. Cool. Alright, we've killed every last one of them. Did that humble you a little bit, Keith? That was more intense than I expected. Ah! So that's what Ouroboros is like up close and personal. Speak for yourselves, you ain't slouches. Uh, we're all strong individually, but much more when we work together. I'd almost forgotten the importance of that. <laughs> we work perfectly well together in our squad. Never lost a single. Oh! Keith. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Sultaner squad. Coulter squad. Guess I can't deny that we're all cut from the same cloth. Thanks for the reminder. Really, there's no need. Oh, but there is. Oh yeah, I'll re-examine my formations and strategies while this bitter defeat remains fresh in my mind. Heh, <laughs> guy's got spirit. I like him. Hey, how long are you guys gonna lollygag around? Hop to it! Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Winona, get over here too. Well, he seems more chipper than before the training exercise. I think something's finally clicked in that fight with you. There was something missing in him. No, in the whole of the god. I can't thank you enough for today. We'll have to really hone our skills if we want to get the better of you. Run away! And that's that. Yeah. Reminds you of us, doesn't it? Oh? You know, how we all try to take on too much ourselves and all that. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. It all went great, I thought. Great training. Great battle, even. Were you watching? I caught the tail end of it, 
But still, thanks to you, I think both Heath and Winona learned the aspects they need to improve on. We the God are tasked with protecting the Queen's person and what she stands for, so we need to be stronger than the rest. But that doesn't just that doesn't mean just individual strength. When we can truly accept our peers, warts and all, that's when you see the beginning of our strength. So it's like you need to have a, some kind of special bond. A bond? Yes, that's a good way to put it. It may sound trite, but I think there's a greater strength than just tactics and theory. Sounds like you're getting us to work with Keith and Winona was a huge success. Ha 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 ha, not at all. You lot are the real heroes here. Really? Thank you, Ouroboros. Anyways, I better go and see how what my valiant subordinates are holding up. Don't work them too hard! And tell them we'll beat them again next time and all. Quest complete. The castle guard, as requested by Sigrind, the party trained with the guards that led by Heath and Winona, teaching them the value of cooperation. I see some relations have changed. Cool. Wow, the uh, Agnes Castle region is already at four out of five stars, and halfway through the five stars too. I highly doubt it, but there, if there is even more quests in Agnes Castle, I'm gonna call that. I want to do it and call it for the day. Oh, Heath has one. I've heard some pretty weird things about an Ethan mine near the castle. They're saying one of those soldiers is skimming off resources to reignite with the war with Agnes. I don't think there's a lick of truth in it personally. I know God in charge there over there, Gustav, we trained together back in the day. He's the most straight laced fella you've ever met. Can't imagine him ever going against castle orders. Okay, yeah, I think um if there are more here or oh, like I was saying, if there are more here, and it seems like there is, I think I think I'm not going to tackle Ashera's quest today, it's just a little bit too much. But we got very, very good que uh, quest progress here. Well, look at you, all together. I was just on my way to get some extra training with the Coulter squad. You know, for a rematch. Or at least- oh wait, wrong voice. That's what I wished I could tell you. I've actually been given a new mission. I'm currently chasing up the rumors of underground descent against the castle. You know there's some kind of shady business going down in one of our Ethan mines, but not the specifics. Seems like there's, there's a chain of command outside the God Regiment hindering the investigation. Goodness, sorry, I'm sure you don't want to hear about all that. Just pretend you didn't hear it. I wouldn't look too, into it too deeply. Though you're free to do as you wish, of course. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink. Mm. Okay. Damn it, this thing is still closed. I don't know what it's for. I don't know! <laughs> I just need to double check. So take Ashera to oh, Old Kana Battlefield and complete a deep sea. Oh, Old Kana Battlefield. I'll have to remember that. I thought I'd be at the colony like most of them are usually. But well, I might try to tackle that and like not the entire quest for me to start it, and then we'll finish that one next time. But until then, we have this this other quest that we need to uh, hop on. The one with Better the ether sure stuff. Rumblings at the mine. I think we need to discuss this. What are your thoughts on this ether mine that Heath and Winona mentioned? Ah, uh, the one that would kick off the war against Agnes again. Wasn't Winona looking into it? I figured she had the stuff under control. I don't doubt that someone of her caliber knows what she's up against. Still, what's weighing on you? You may be on good terms with her, but she seems very happy to divulge the classified information like it was nothing. There's that stuff about being blocked by another chain of com another chain of command. You think maybe she was trying to hint that she needs some backup? But the god reports directly to the queen. Who else could be pulling the string? Well, we know her investigation has come to a standstill. I bet the power structures in the castle are part of the reason why. That's why she'll only talk about it in such a roundabout way. She couldn't. Ah, whoops. Uh, this all makes this is all still guesswork, but it does make sense. Why does everything have to be so cloak and dagger? Just ask for crying out loud. I think it's time we paid them a house call. Detective Lance is on the case. Yeah, we want to restart war with Agnes, even by accident. Question. Where is this Ethan mine again? <laughs> it's on one of the islands. <laughs> I can't believe I have to work with you. The Ethan mine is near the fright entrance where we entered Kevis Castle. Then we just have... 
then that's where we're heading. Just as soon as we're ready. Oh my god, reading that. I don't know what happened, my throat got super dry all of a sudden. Okay, so this quest was called a Dark Cloud. I remember there was, was one area near Kevin's castle that just had so, so, so much ether. And I'm guessing that's where we're headed to because I don't understand where else they would go. So it's called a Dark Cloud. And that is, yep, here. This entire thing. We, I never finished this map? Well then. Oh right, this was a thing. Last time I came here, I was too afraid, so I didn't, uh... I didn't really get too into it. <laughs> and by last time I was here, I meant when we literally infiltrated the castle. Oh, wait, is this unique? Look at how ginormous this thing is. That should have been unique. And you can just see the ether in the air. Wow. Yep, this is definitely an ether mine. Hey, Gustav. Sorry to just appear out, appear out of the blue, but would you happen to ha be in charge of this mine? Yeah, I'm the superintendent. So you're still operating even now even now that the flame clock's broken. Right. The castle couldn't exactly stop providing these colonies with eat the cylinders. We've been scraping together every last of drop of energy we could find. Working flat out, we are ha ha ha. Changing the subject a bit, but have you ever heard of these rumors that this mine's preparing for preparing for war with Agnes? Ha! That's a good one. We're way too busy for war with Agnes. I see. It was a god who was saying it was a god who was saying it though. Seems like pretty solid info. The god? You serious? Uh well that's something. Just to make sure, do you mind if we take a look around the mines? Y yeah. Go ahead. Look as much look around as much as you want. Don't expect you'll find anything though. Hmm. Good to add more names. Okay. We have three areas where we can get more information. We'll start with this castle soldier. Ugh, the massification doesn't match the delivery numbers again. Oh, someone's stealing some ether. What are you doing here, you lone container of ether that's very suspicious? Hold up, they got a shiny new ether cylinder jammed in here. Intriguing. Why put it somewhere like this? They're changing the delivery location for the ether cylinders? Why do you, why do these requests keep coming out of the blue? Ah, yeah, someone's siphoning out the ether, preparing for their uh, just embezzling it. What are they up to? Okay, let's talk about this ether mind check. Where should I start? There's something real shady about this that Gustav bloke. Ether from the gods said he wouldn't go against castle orders though. Even so, it's hard to imagine that a mind supervisor losing track of so much ether. He very scatterbrained person then. You're the scatterbrain. So if I'm not mistaken, he's turning a blind eye to all of it? Or maybe he really intends to restart war with Agnes. It's not all that far-fetched given the current climate. Either way, we should report back to him about what we found, yeah? If he's playing dumb, we might even get him to spill the banes. Yeah, let's talk to Gustav again. Okay, Gustav. Ah, oh, I gotta crack your nut. There you are. So did you find anything? Hmm, nothing that particularly stood out. We did find that the number of ether cylinders didn't equal... Wait, what the earmarks for the castle? They're in another place. Ah, oh, I haven't heard the term earmarked before. Would you happen to know anything about that? What? That sounds... Out with it! You've been skimming them off, haven't you? I excuse me? Ha! Ha ha ha! Not at all! But the number discrepancy is definitely a problem. I'll, uh, look into it forthwith. I promise to get that to the bottom of it in double quick time. I'll waste no time in bringing it to the attention of the inspector in charge at once. Woo! There he goes! Very sus. It'll be hard to bring him to justice without conclusive evidence. Yeah, but it's not like we didn't achieve something. You mentioned an inspector. Maybe that's the boss of this operation. The one trying to fan the flames. More speculation. We lack the evidence to come up with such a conclusion. If they make a move, it should be it shouldn't mean changes for Fort Overbus. Let's keep an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, and next time, let's catch him in the act. Right. We won't let them get away with this. 
We'll let you get away with this. Quest complete. No hard evidence was found, but pay close attention to any suspicious activity from the inspector. Rumblings at the fort. One out of two. I wonder where we get the next part. Rumblings at the fort. Wow. This colony just doesn't stop. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. Man, I really hope there aren't any quests that are located inside the castle. If there are, I don't know how I'm going to find them. <laughs> oh, there's an eye. What's the inspector doing out in a place like this late at night? Busted! Rumbling at the fort. Oh, that's how we're going to get into that room. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I kept wondering about it. I thought maybe it would be for an ascension quest, but... No, maybe this is it. We have to polish our skills to shine for the return of our true queen. Heath and Winona are still wet behind the ears, but then again, so am I. Mobius are about as tough as you guys, aren't they? So we can't really say we can protect the queen until we can hold our own against you. Ugh, it's a long road ahead. But not just for Winona and me, but for every one of us. Long live the queen. Rumblings at the fort. I think we need to discuss this. That Gustav Shappy, he's guilty as they come, whichever way you slice it. Yeah, he was still feigning ignorant in innocence, but those dubious ether cylinders speak volumes. Furthermore, if we were to take into account the new information we acquired from the fort, I don't think we're wrong. Speaking of juicy details, what about the guy who saw the ins castle inspector on the path under the fort in the dead of night? Wait, what? This thing keep keeps getting shadier and shadier. There can't be much underground besides storehouses, right? Something certainly smells distinctly piss... Piscine? Once, I've never seen that word either. <laughs> uh, well, those are about all the clues we have. Shall we go and snoop around the basement storehouse? The true inspector. This is interesting. So where on the map is this? Yes, I knew it. It's that one spot that I haven't gone yet. Ah, so it's not telling me to go this way, but around. So yeah, it'll be like by that area where we have to like essentially leave the city a little bit. Not the city, but the, the colony. Yeah, here. Cool. Yeah, man, this, this colony had so many quests. We're pretty much going to get it from like, I don't know if we started with zero stars, but we're, we're probably going to get to five stars or at least close to it by the end of this quest. Cut it down with Lucky 7! Or yeah, open the door. Could have done that earlier. Oh, they're all busted. Wait, is this... Hey, who are you? What do we have here? What are you all doing here? You starve. Looks like all those missing ether cylinders accumulated themselves here. Very interesting. What? No. You just came blundering in here, right as I was about to investigate this whole affair. Yeah, that that's it. Yeah, yeah, cut the crap. No point playing a different tune now. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, if you want if you know this much, there's only one thing for it. Yep. You're filthy! We'll defeat you for Kevis. Wipe you out. All right, the true inspector. Oh snap! They're higher level than us. Level seventy-one. But they're nothing in front of the blade. Gustav is level seventy-one himself. And he's the only one left. It's over, Gustav. It's time to turn yourself in. Bam! Alright, he's done. Oh man, so strong, so strong. Wow, after all that after all that talking the talk, is that all the walk you can walk? You know, I, I just wanna say I'm not gonna stop using <laughs> unlimited lucky seven. Because that thing is so fun. 
And honestly, at this point, the combat's still pretty fun, but I, I do kind of want to go a little bit faster, if you know what I mean. Ugh. Okay, now spill it. What are you planning to do with these ether cylinders? You really don't know? Traitors! Uh, who are the traitors now? Come off it. Weren't you Ouroboros originally, Kevesi? And aren't you palling around with our nemesis, Agnes? If that's not treachery, then I guess you'll have to give me a dis dictionary. Oh yeah, and you know what I'm planning, yeah? Well, I'm planning to use these bad boys to fuel an army of lovenesses and send them straight to Agnes, with my regards. What the snuff? You want to keep on fighting this war single-handedly? Correct, until Agnes is finally crushed. Is that really what you want? Come again? He said you were very sensible, not someone who'd wanted bloodshed. What does that naive little fool know about justice? I'll ask again. Is this really what you want? What are you trying to do? Well, what you're trying to, what you're going to do will hurt the people you, who believe in you too. Is this? Is that really justice? What do you want to destroy Agnes for? Sh shut up! Don't underestimate the castle inspector. I have friends in- Stop right there. Everyone, freeze! Wh what What's the god doing here? Gustav, in the name of the queen, you're under arrest. Oh, look. They made it. That's right. Walk the walk now. <laughs> Thank you for helping secure the seditious element. Seditious el Okay, I I've seen that word before. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> S seditious element? <sighs> really, it's fine. It was more of a happy accident, I guess. We'll return the favor one day. Seditious el element? <laughs> so, um, case closed? Guess so. It's still a matter of returning the ether cylinders, though. What's the matter, Tyon? Gustav said that he wanted to provoke the war by means of an army of Lovenesses, didn't he? Yeah. Where are the Lovenesses? He prepared very carefully. I assume he calculated victory based on numbers. Which would mean that this amount of ether cylinders wouldn't have sufficed. You mean this isn't all of them? It's possible he's already transported some. I'm also not seeing any of the Lovenesses in question, which is worrying. So if we don't catch this Castle Inspector twerp, there's gonna be trouble, yeah? But there's more than one Castle Inspector. We have no idea which one it is. Wow, it keeps going! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. And while we're dittering here, they're still preparing for war. Then shall we talk to a Castle Inspector we do know? Ah, oh, Ulrich! We can definitely trust him, and he knows everyone. Wow, this leads into that. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Let's get to Agnes Castle straight away, before it's too late. Oh, right, he is in Ag Agnes Castle. Oh my god, the fact that those quests connect, are it, that's so cool. I mean, I know we had to do the other one first, but I like the fact that we're referring back to Ulrich now. Ah, this place is open now. Ah, why no one busted in probably through there. Cool. Well, I'm gonna keep going until this ends because that was really interesting. <laughs> There's zero chance of doing a sheriff's thing today, unfortunately, even though I really want to start it. Hey everyone, let me thank you for what you- Sorry, Ulrich. Something's really urgent came up. But what? What could have possibly happened? What? Even- a castle inspector is plotting an invasion of Agnes? Please tell us it's not you. Of course it's not me. If I were to do something so reckless, it would ruin my entire life's work. We know you wanted peace with Agnes, so we were hoping you'd help us. Uh, of course. So in other words, you came here to ask me if I had any inkling as to who this ringleader amongst the inspectors is. Is someone a sus? Someone's the imposter? You're a smart boy. So how about it? 
Okay, let me think. Of all the castle inspectors I know, is there anyone who would do something like that? Is this a dead end? I'm sorry. Look, how about this? I have another idea. A new castle inspector is scheduled to transfer here today. A new one? That's right. She was approved for my Agnes reconciliation policy, and by all accounts, is a brilliant inspector. Why don't you talk to her? Sure, we can do that, if that's what you recommend, Ulrich. She should be arriving any time now. We've arranged for the floodgates to be open, so BOOM! Yep. What, what was that? Explosion at the port! Are we under attack? What's going on? The port? That means... then... Hey, not so fast! Well, we found ourselves the culprit, even though it's a tiny bit late. We're here. Time to beat up a ship. Oh, you can see all the Agnes Levnesses. I mean, Kavesi Levnesses. What? What's this? Kavesi Levnesses? No, this can't be happening. Save the chat. We've got the enemies to take out. Oh my god. That's 22 of them. Holy. Alright, I'm just gonna walk here. And boom! <laughs> Immediately take down a giant horde of them. Oh, that's how they got here. Wow. Oh my god, that's a giant Levinus in the back. You, you see that? You see that one? That's huge. Okay, how many more do you have on this side? We only have one. And there's one in the ocean? That's great. Let's just aggro a bunch of them. Are okay, we taking care of 19 out of 20? We have three left. You can see all of them in this straight line. All right, we killed all of them. Damn, that was 29 Levnesses. Inspector Luciona! <laughs> no, Luciona, no! <laughs> Inspector Luciona, what is the meaning of this? You can't... You can't be the mastermind behind this invasion of Agnes. I see that Euroboros managed to follow their noses this far. How extremely irritating. I can't believe we went all the trouble to find her when she showed up here on her own. But how could such a brilliant inspector do such a thing? Oh, the contrary, Inspector Ulrich. You're the one who's forgotten his duty. You swore an oath of fealty to the Queen. Instead, here we are, you venomous turncoat ass bar, betraying Kevis. I haven't betrayed anyone. Everything I've done was for the sake of at Kevis's future. Ever since I heard about your reconciliation plan, I knew I had to destroy you with my own hands. Oh no, it's giant Doric, but the previous version. <laughs> and you, Ouroboros, you're stained with the sin of insurgency, insurgency as well. But, Inspector Luciona. Stand back, Ulrich. We'll take it from here. Wow, that was a really big quest. You're alone now, Gastratides. Gastratides. There we go. Alright, number one. Oh, Jesus. That's two. I can't believe I have to fight Doric again. <laughs> uh oh, I think I might be dead. Two, three, four. All right, let's try chain attack. Oh, I have a Shara with me, and she has like the awesome one. Nice. Brave assault with Lucky Seven. Yeah, attack on slash go. Come on, please break, please break, please break. Damn it! All right, well this is a this is a doomed attempt. <laughs> God, a sheriff's so cool. I've forgotten. I haven't used her in so long. Overkill. Oh, finally, break hit. I tempted it so many times. Okay, so we need a top one along. No, we were not gonna make it. Ah, screw it. Oh, we got. Oh, we did. 
I didn't realize that launched and smashed. Cool. Ooh, look at that EXP bonus. 6.3 million damage. Okay, okay. Now the case is closed. This case certainly, but... I'm so sorry. I was blinded to its true intentions, and I've caused an awful lot of trouble for you and the people of Agnes. It's not your fault, Ulrich. This could have happened at any time. The grudges between Agnes and Kevis go deeper than any of us thought. You're right, of course, but it's sad. It's sad, but it's the truth. But giving up now would be giving Inspector Luciona what she wants. It's clear looking at you that there is a non-zero possibility of reconciliation. I have to try to put this reconciliation policy into action for both Kevis and Agnes. And we'll do anything we can help, Ulrich. Quest complete. The true inspector. The party put a stop to Inspector Luciona's plot. As a result, Ulrich now feels that coexistence between Agnes and the city is an absolute must. Wow, that, that was good. <laughs> that was really good. That felt like it was a culmination of a lot of the um, Kevis Castle, Fort, um, I forgot what this place is called, area. And that, that was really good. <laughs> that being said, it doesn't seem like the Kevis Castle like rating has gone up by much. So I'm kind of disappointed in that because I thought that was going to finish off the uh, the stars. I thought that was going to be five stars. Panini not see Luciona lately. She a good person who come by every day and praise cured meat wizards of Pan Panina. Oh, um, Panina hopes she less busy soon and come back again. Oof. If I'm honest, I find a lot of the ninth and 10th termers kind of pathetic. They can't just cope with the change that Ouroboros brings to the world. Hey, come on, don't say that. If they can't hack it, they should just be weeded out. Simple as that. Though, that's kind of the same as the old rules, I guess. Wow. That child is going to grow up to be super harsh. <laughs> Have you ever been to Tap Dancing Nopon? The owner, Panina, sees it as her duty to nurture promising young people, and she always serves huge portions. What? She's never done that for me. Ha! Guess I'm just more promising than you. I think that's going to be it for the quest at Kevis Castle. Unless there are quests inside the castle, then my god, I, I, oh, I guess I have to check. I'm genuinely not even quite sure how to do this, to be honest. Like, I don't know where to look for potential new quests. Oh, this door area opened now. We can get to the other side. I wonder if there will be a landmark here. Kind of doubt it. Oh, we reached max max rank with the uh, flash fencer. Cool. Actually, there's something I have to do. So like this, this skill is so good. <laughs> Capable hands. I wonder if I can keep it. Oh, you can keep it. Yes. How of all places is this not a landmark? It's literally the queen's throne room. Oh, wait, there's more stuff behind here. Oh, that I did not know. Wow, I, I never even considered it. Uh, is it going to be a secret area? Never seen this place before. Grand Tower Walkway. What's... What's this? Um, I guess we'll check it out. Now, we wait. So wondering when I'm finally going to get, like... 100% completion on like any map. Oh wait, there's a door here? Uh, what is that? What is that? What does that mean? Um, another elevator. They keep going up. <laughs> How many floors is this thing? Whoa, we're going really up with this. Holy crud. Grand Tower Sky Garden. Oh, dang, that's so cool. I'm glad I came back. It sure would be terrible if we fell from here. <laughs> yes, it would. It would, Ashera. Would you like to try? Oh, you can see Colony Eleven. Nope, I lied. It's too high. 
Uh, no, no, you, you could see Colony 11. It's right there, see? See, that's Colony... Whoa! I never looked... I never knew how gnarly Colony 11's, um... Well, Colony 11's leveness look. It, it looks like it's it's wrapped around the that rock. That's that's really cool. Holy crap. Well, I can't find any other new quests here, so I'm going to assume that I've done everything I can. So, well, I'm glad I got to find this new area. This is really cool. If it wasn't so dreary, it'd be even cooler. <laughs> Let's head over to Colony 13 and see how... I mean, Colony 11 and see how things are going here. Behold the hero's return. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, colony 11 is, I want to say, easily the smallest colony. So we should be able to see if there's anything by just doing like a small perimeter run. And it does not seem like it. Easel seems to be like one of three talkable people and she doesn't have anything. Strider is another. And the last one is Knockheart. And nobody has anything to say. This colony is currently ranked 3 out of 5, so I'm assuming doing a Shara's quest will fill up most of it and or unlock some more quests. And yeah, uh, once again, it seems that her thing is to go to- uh, I forgot the name of the place. To initiate a Shara's quest, we have to go to the old Kana battlefield and complete a deep-seated scar. I forgot where the old Kana battlefield is, so I'm just gonna look at the maps. And starting from the Atia region, and hopefully find a question mark. We still have this one area in the Atia region that's not filled, but I, I know for certain that I have no idea how to get there yet. Everything else seems relatively filled. Oh, is this the old Kana? Yeah, this is the old Kana battlefield. Cool. We got a question mark. And there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Well, because we did a whole bunch of Kevis Castle stuff. And by that, I mean like a whole bunch. I've been recording for over two hours at this point, just on Kevis Castle. And almost reached rank five. Uh, we're going to save Ashera's quest for next time. And I'm looking forward to it because Ashera is one of the coolest characters. But yeah, we'll tackle that next time. Until then, I will be seeing you. See ya!